I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Welcome all to Let's Play Oblivion. I'm your host, B.R. Brainerd. Folks, I gotta tell you, I've been really eager to get this Let's Play posted. It's to celebrate the upcoming and heavily marketed release of Skyrim. When Bethesda releases a new Elder Scrolls game, it's always been a major graphical upgrade over what's out there. But as we all know, games like that, they don't really tend to last. Well, Oblivion is definitely an exception. The graphics still look great, even by today's standards, but even more importantly, Oblivion has such a large and active community of fans behind it that they've actually created their own texture packs for Oblivion, and the result is just absolutely gorgeous and easily equivalent to other contemporary releases. I'm really glad that I have access to such a beefy PC, because I can give, use that to give you a window into this world, because this is going to be a heavily HD release. I'm playing the game at 920 by 1080 resolution, settings are cranked up, enhanced texture packs are in. There's also a number of other custom mods that I'll be playing with that I feel really enhance the experience. We got one called Natural Environments, which brings all sorts of nifty weather effects in. We've got a mod for enhanced vegetation, and we've got my personal favorite, the best cities mod which is absolutely great and we'll be talking more about that later I'm also going to be playing with a mod called Oblivion XP this changes the way leveling takes place in the game and I'll be talking about it in much more detail later on but for now let me just say that I really recommend it to you I mean I love skill based games don't get me wrong but there are a few major problems with the way Bethesda has implemented it and what Oblivion XP really does for you is it gets rid of a lot of the grind, you know, while still keeping the fun of earning your character's improvement. So it doesn't give you, you know, an easy path to mastery. In fact, it takes probably longer to get up with Oblivion XP, but it's more fun. It lets you concentrate on doing what's enjoyable in the game, instead of, you know, sitting in a corner casting a low-level cure spell over and over. Now, as I am sure you can tell by now, I'm going to be playing a casting-oriented character. Mages are a very diverse choice, and they have a lot of spells that imitate or in some cases completely replace other skills in the game, so that way the idea is you're going to be getting a better overall view of what you can do in Oblivion. We're going to have access with the mage class, you see. Alright, final note before we get started with the game. Oblivion is absolutely massive, and I've really no desire to just speed right through the main quest. So I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the traveling back and forth and selling to merchants so you won't get bored. But I haven't made up my mind yet whether or not this is going to be a complete playthrough or whether I'm just going to showcase elements of the game, you know, like the Mages Guild of the Dark Brotherhood quest lines. So we'll see. But in the meanwhile, let's dig into Oblivion. Hmm. Ah, yes. It looks like with every other Elder Scrolls game we find ourselves in prison. Mm. I don't think we need to customize anything about better cities. Hail skin. 
snotty expression. You're a Breton. The masters of magicka, right? <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of stuck-up snobs with cheap parlor tricks. Go ahead. Try your magicka in here. Let's see you make those bars disappear. No? What's the matter? Not so powerful now, are you? <sighs> yak, yak, yak. I guess in prison you get used to the sound of your own voice. Here they come. We don't know that's I wonder what they want. The only said they were I guess I better stand back. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. A usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We okay. won't hesitate okay. to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. No sign of a stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. What's going on? Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. And who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel. And you, too, shall serve her in your own way. If you know that, can you tell me why I'm here? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. What should I do? You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Well, would you look at that? An escape There's route here the whole time, no and I had no idea. Looks like this is your lucky day. Right. Stay I'm out of our way. Right. Oh, there they go. I wonder what our friend has to say about that. Nothing. I think that's as expected. No choice but to follow up and hope they don't notice or care. Wow, there's a whole network of tunnels built underneath the prison. Who had any idea? Close up left. What's that? The Emperor. Who Take is that? The captain's down. <sighs> Better not get involved. Are you all right, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Reno? She's dead. Sorry, sire, but we have to keep moving. I guess we can only hope that there's no more of them. Who are these guys? They'll know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sire. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prison. Don't try to follow us. Well, then I only have myself to look to for protection. What's that? Two rats. Hello? Gotcha. Rat meat. Well, it's not exactly fine cuisine, but it'll have to do. Short sword, a torch, and a katana. 
Something tells me that's going to come in handy. through here. A dead body. It's been here for a while. Huh. Bow practice. Alright. I guess I better equip it. Okay, so I have to have both the bow and the arrows equipped. There we are. Okay, so now all I should have to do is aim and release. And we even get our arrow back. Oh, I didn't notice you before. Let's try that again. playing a caster. I think it's time to actually bind some of my spells. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so you're not going to be seeing this lockpicking minigame very much outside of the intro movie. I'm going to be relying mostly on alteration and the open lock spells to get that job done. I just don't find it very interesting. I will be looting plenty of lockpicks though. Three gold and zero weight, it's a good deal. Hello? Wow, you have lots of things. I'll take that. Going to need some light before I go in deeper. And for now, I'm going to be playing a bit more like a hybrid than a pure mage. It's really the way to go at the beginning of the game. Ah, and it looks like there's a surprise waiting for us on the other side. So, let's kill it. Ah, oh, it leaped right over it. There we go. That was pretty sloppy. <laughs> but it does demonstrate the importance of having armor. Even on a character like this, it's going to be a hard decision for me whether or not I'm going to play as a pure unarmored caster or take the 5% hit. It's only a 5% hit. And wear light armor. To see. There's lots of secret items stashed away on this level. I'm going to try and be as thorough as I can. Hello? Oh, my fireball, as weak as it is, has made quick work of these things. Perfect. Four enemies dead. Not a single hit. That's how I like it. So the bones that that zombie dropped are pretty useless, but the mort flesh and the rat flesh can be used in alchemy later on. That's going to be a money maker for us. One. Two. Excellent. <laughs> I have been playing a few FPSs in my time between Oblivion playthroughs. I think they've stood me in good stead. Oh, 